Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Squadcast with my friend, Gabo the Giver. It's been a long time. Happiness. It's been a little while. I feel like for them, it might not feel like too long because we kind of spread them out after we filmed, but we haven't really filmed one in like, what, a month? Probably like a month. Yeah. We, 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 we kind of like rake up topics through time and we kind of send them to each other. And once we kind of reach a point where we can film a few, we're like, all right, let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. And, and, and we have to give space for more different videos too. Yeah. We like to mix it up, have some fun and all that too. So um, how, are, how are you? Duh. I'm great. Duh. <laughs> uh, I'm really good. I'm feeling good. Look at this room right now. It just feels amazing. Look at this hat. Do you I remember? Do you remember this? That is OG superhero game squad before we were, we were pixel game squad. So yeah, it was good. Um, Gabo, Let's... topic first topic. We're gonna go through three topics today, but the first one that we got is kind of an interesting one for retro gamers to talk about because uh, there's love and hate, mostly hate I'd say for it. But uh, our thoughts on DLC in general, and I'll kind of let you kick it off, Gabo. Just kind of like your overview, overlook thoughts on DLC in general. Uh... I will say 50-50. I'm not very, I'm not a very fan of the DLCs. For me, in my life, I only bought like three or four, okay. to be honest, especially the Mortal Kombat ones. And then I, and, and always I regret doing it. Really? Because month after that, they throw out the physical version with all the DLCs and everything. Got it. I'm playing this so, because it, it, this is a DLC trailer for Star Wars. That's right. why. But look at free so, update. By the way, that I, said free update. So. Actually, I, I need to check that out. There you go. I was reminding you. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder who has that game. I don't the know. One I used to. <laughs> who could have Gabo's copy of that game? <laughs> Brickstone. Yeah, Brickstone. Uh, um, go ahead. No, okay. I'll jump in. Yeah. Oh. DLC is a, is a bittersweet thing for me because I'll be honest. I'm more guilty, and I will admit, I'm a lot more guilty than most people than uh, with enjoying DLC. Um, I un I completely understand why. Yes, you are. I, I, I do it more than most people. I spend more money than I should. I, and I hate admitting it, but I, I have to be honest. I spend a lot of money, <laughs> of these. I spend a lot of money <laughs> on of DLC and even like loot crates. I admit I'm wow. guilty. I know... I know what's bad about them. I get it. I know why they're terrible, but I'm the kind of guy, I know it's stupid, but when I'm playing a game, I know it's stupid. I'm like, I really want my character to look that way when I'm playing with them. That's just how I am. I know it's, uh, it's it can be a bad thing and DLC can be uh, such a big thing. It's such a big way to take advantage of people who have already spent good money. We know that people have talked about that for years. We're not talking yeah. about anything new here. Um, uh, like um, good. For me, in my opinion, this is my personal opinion, my humble opinion. Uh, for example, if you buy DLC for another skins, another colors, or for me, that's a worse waste of money. I know they should they should be free. You know, like do something in the game to unblock that. Yeah. But for DLC, for example, for me, the the greatest one is from the one from Witcher Three. Okay. Man, those are really DLC. What it's about like a, in the Wild? Uh, to be honest, uh, uh, it's like, man, like, yeah, cool. And I know uh, you uh, love Breath of the Wild. That's yeah. Gabo's favorite Zelda game, by the way. Yeah. I love when they do, like, the station extension of the story. Got it. DLC extension of the story, like they did with Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like they did with The Witcher 3 and other games. But for me, it's a waste of money if you buy DLC only for change the color, change skins, and all that. I know I do it. You know what, Bo? Okay, so for and there's games that do it like they kind of do it good, where they kind of offer both of best yeah. worlds. Like, like let's say Rocket League. Rocket yeah. League has DLC, which I admit I buy them all. But at the same time, if you don't want to buy it, you still can earn the good old fashioned way, earn new cars, yeah. new skins, new vehicles, new colors, new schemes, you, you know, stuff like that. You remember the old days of Call of Duty when you yeah. when you unblock everything? Yep. I, I think that's needs to go come back in yeah. the new games. So yeah. I mean it's it's refreshing 
that, you know, like playing the old video games is refreshing to be like, okay, whatever's on this cartridge is what's on this cartridge and that's it. But I ha but there's also that part of me that's like, guy, how cool would it be if you could put in your original Super, Super Mario World cartridge and they were like, yeah. hey, you want to pay 10 bucks? We'll give you 10 more levels in Mario World. I'd be like, hmm. Yeah, but I like I say, that that's like a station of the story True. or the gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, story extensions are good. I did uh, Blaster Master Zero. I got all the DLCs for those with like Shantae, uh, Shovel Knight. Uh, I definitely, I, I'm guilty though of it, you know? And yeah. I get why a lot of people don't Let me ask it. you something. For those yeah. games, mm -hmm. you finish it with the other characters? With the DLC? Yeah. I finished it with the Shantae DLC, not the Shovel Knight DLC. All right. And the ending was different? It was the same? I don't remember. So, see, that's my point. Yeah. Well, like, like I said, that's I'm, my I'm sure personal opinion. Yeah. It's like, you're going to pay like five or ten bucks yeah. to play the same game, the same ending, just because you have another, you know, just to play another character. Yeah. That that's my point, and, I, and yeah. again, that's my that's my opinion. Your humble opinion. Yeah, that's my humble opinion. It's Gabo's gracious opinion. I remember, guys. That's what we have: chocolate, chocolate and vanilla. vanilla. <laughs> nice. Hey, Gabo. Another topic that kind of can go along with DLC in a weird way. Maybe I don't know, but this is a big one. This is huge because so many people in the world uh, look to these things. Uh, we'll give our opinion on them, but. What are your thoughts on reviews? Do you like to watch reviews before or do you hate watching re reviews before? Has it turned you away from a game that you wish you wouldn't have hmm. seen the review for it? Like, what do you, do you watch uh, them? Are they necessary? Well, this is my humble opinion. Yes, humble. Uh, I have to be grateful with reviews in the okay. past because I learned from it not to trust them. Got it. And we have been talking about this uh, for, uh, you know, so many times. Yeah. And one of the greatest example, in my humble opinion. My humble. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Bionic Commando on the Xbox 360 and PS3. We both do. And the reviews killed that game. Yeah. And for me, that game is amazing. Yeah, I love that game. So, so that's a small example. And... I don't know. Uh, lately, the reviews, uh, I watch the review, I read the reviews, but uh, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't change if I, if I still interest or I'm going to buy or play the game. Got it. In other words, it doesn't matter to me to you, anymore. Matter. Anymore. Got it. Got it. It's like, eh, whatever. Yeah. For me with reviews, the biggest thing that I really really struggle with again something i've talked about before i haven't had social media for almost four years now january 4th will be four years um reviews can good for you thank you thank you by the way yeah good yeah, for really you cool. i'm proud i'm proud of you thank you it's so it's so difficult it's like like the soda so yeah. difficult to leave it behind difficult to quit yeah i still yeah. can't i still can't quit soda but i can quit social media cheers um, <laughs> cheers to that um the problem I find with it is so many times, and this goes with anything, this can go with politics, this can go with anything. When you watch someone else's opinion before you actually play it or get your hands on it or experience it yourself, even if it's not gonna change your mind from playing it or buying it or whatnot, it already sets like a mood in your head like of yeah. what to expect. Like, oh, it's not supposed to be that good so your expectations drop yeah. or Oh, I heard this is in there and it wasn't my favorite thing. Or I, I heard it's kind of floaty, the game. And then you go yeah. in and like us, like for Bionic Commando on the Xbox 360, I never saw any reviews, never saw all the trash. I, I was oblivious to people talking crap about the game and I played it and I enjoyed the heck out of it. And then I found out after I'm like, whoa, everybody hates this game. You know what I mean? And I was like, I didn't know that. But I almost feel like if I would have been looking at the reviews before, seeing that everybody says it sucks, I probably wouldn't have played it. And then if I yeah. did play it, I might have already had like a unknowingly like a thing in my head. And that, that's kind of like what I said about politics. Same thing, too. You know, you listen to what's going on, especially the world right now. So much is going on. It's like you make an, a, a judgment before you even know. Uh, we don't. Yeah. Until we don't, you know, you make judgment before you get yeah. to make your own think about it, you know. Um, 
I, I think the latest example about reviews is Resident Evil 3 for me. Okay. I I, I read I, I I read so many mixed reviews about Got the it. game. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of reviews saying that it was too short. That is true. But I don't know, man. I think the game once was great. Got it. Was great. And it didn't piss me off to pay the full price for it. Yeah. So it is what it is. I get it. And we have reviews to kind of help us and guide us to stay away from the garbage yeah. and whatnot. But but we're all different individuals. So yeah. who's to say what you'll like and what I won't like or blah, 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 you know? Let me ask you something. And probably I, I already know this, the answer. Okay. The same goes to you with movies? Yeah. I definitely try to stay away from... I like to watch a trailer. I love watching trailers, actually. Sometimes before I go to bed, I like to just literally watch trailers. Me too. And just be like, ooh. I'm going to watch this. And yeah, same thing. And that happened with a lot of different Star Wars has gotten, whatever you agree. I'm not even saying uh, it was good or bad. It just depends on some people I, love it, some hate it. I think the latest example was Star Wars and Sonic. Sonic. Especially, yeah. You remember we was talking about Sonic. What did people say about Sonic? Did they say it? There was a, no, it was, they were saying it was good. But I remember talking about it and you was like, eh, I prefer wait and see it. And then I see if I like it or not. Yeah. I remember you were saying that and, and the other one was Star Wars. Yeah, I remember when Star Wars came out, regardless of, if, regardless of whether we ended up liking it or not, I remember us, especially me and you, having this conversation yeah. on the phone, like, we're not gonna listen because we know yeah. if we hear what people are saying, it's gonna be put in our head and I wanna experience it for myself. That's what I tell people at everything in the world. Don't make judgments before it, you know, you know. He goes, he goes, Everything is gold back to the basic. Yep. Vanilla and chocolate. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's different. It's true. Yep. And we, <laughs> it's, it's, did you say it's churro? Yeah. Churro. Ricky? Uh, what's our last topic? Ooh, ooh, I like this one. Let's this see. Is a fun one. This is a fun one. Movies that you can watch over and over again. Kind of a shifting, shifting gears into something more fun. What are, what, what are movies, Gabo, that you could just watch? all the time and enjoy it and smile and or cry whatever you prefer what's what's your you want to go first uh you can go first i just all right i got i got three okay good fellas okay predator the og one and dumb and dumber Ooh, out of those the the og one dumb and dumber out of the ones you picked is my i can watch that anytime yeah there's a lot of movie but that comes to my head right now those three Especially, so especially Predator, man. That's a good. That movie, movie is it's amazing and good, fellas. It's, a, it's an amazing movie. It's interesting you say that because all three of those movies are kind of different. You know different, I mean? yeah. Goodfellas is like very centered in good acting and drama. Uh, mm -hmm. Predator is very centered in manly brute create force, you know. And then Dumb and Dumber is just complete slapstick yeah. humor. Exactly. Yeah. So. Predator, what is what what kind of movie is supposed to be? Horror or action? I'd say like a like a dark action, more like a it, definitely an action movie. But I feel like they, they threw in some of those darker feels, you know, which is cool. Which I like dark feelings, so I think it's cool. Oh, me yeah. too. Um, mine, and I don't even know if you've seen this guy, but this is my go-to. My wife will attest to this movie every time I am hanging out, and she's like, "What movie are you gonna put on?" I I don't know if you've ever seen it. I put on. This movie, it's called Benchwarmers. Oh, dude, that movie's amazing. <laughs> this movie, I'm not joking. I laugh so, so hard much. every <laughs> time I watch this movie. I am in tears, and it doesn't matter how many times I've seen it. It's just, yeah. it's, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. You know what other movies? Ah, um, oh, well, actually, I watched it. I was, I watched it yesterday. Happy Gilmore. Oh, Happy Gilmore is oh, so amazing. Good. Amazing. So good. Yeah, and if you guys don't know, John Heater is in this. That's him right there. He's the guy who played, this was after Napoleon, Napoleon. Dynamite. Napoleon yeah. Dynamite, yeah. David Spade and the whole crew that normally comes in. And Is Alan Sander in that movie? Probably a cameo, right? I don't think he has a cameo in this movie. I don't think he has a cameo in this movie. Unless it's one that I never noticed, you know, or whatever. That movie's but, uh, so good, man. It's so good. That's like my go-to laying in bed. <laughs> just one of, It's just so funny. Yeah, it'll make you laugh. That was Ooh. the guy. Oh, that was... Did you see what oh, I just said? Big Daddy. Happy. Oh, that's the guy. Uh, what is the name of that guy? Rob Schneider? The rich, no, the rich guy. I John Lovitz? 
Yeah, that's the guy from the critic. We were yeah, talking last I, night. Yeah, he has that voice. He's well, well, awesome. I oh, love the part. I love the part where he like shows his nipples and then he like turns away and then for no reason he just like shows them again to everybody and I'm like I feel like that was one of those it wasn't in the script moments. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was the one he's matching was everything Star yes, Wars. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, so good. So good. Really good. Yeah, that love that movie. If you haven't seen nice. It, that okay, so for that's it for this one. But Gabo, the good news is me and you are filming two more of these right now, back to back. So there'll be more of these. But uh, for now, why don't you send everybody off, Gabo? Tell them goodbye. You you close it out today. Happiness to everyone. Happiness to everyone. Stay safe. Be Stay safe. Love on everybody. Safe. Be safe. All right. How do I stop this thing? Goodbye, world. Mm -hmm.